Hold on, I have to fart. Never mind. Nah. <laughs> I don't have to fart. False alarm. False alarm. What's up? What's up, guys? Oh damn! I didn't say. I didn't say. What's up? What's up, guys? What? What kind of? What kind of asshole am I? Oh wow! I already cursed. It was like what? Yay! Twenty seconds in, I already cursed. I already said asshole. I probably said fuck. Then now I said probably two times, one or two times at least. Awesome. How you guys doing? Today we're gonna go over the Garuda. Ooh, the Garuda. Very controversial monster. Or not. Anyway, let's check her out. Or him. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like a it's a bird. Do birds even have penises? Oh great, I said fuck asshole and talking about penises. Most vulgar YouTuber ever. So we have the Kahul is support monster. Okay. Check out that booty. Mmm. Mmm, that booty rocking. That booty rocking. That booty rocking, Kahul. That booty rocking. Uh, no, ew, no. Ne see, now you guys are gonna think I'm sexually attracted to birds. It was a joke. It was a joke. Stop taking it seriously. Onslaught. Um, first skill attacks the enemy with a breakneck speed, may stun the enemy with a 24% chance. This is a support monster. Um, I don't like the 24% chance. I like stunning. I like them stunners. But I don't like the 24% chance. I don't like anything that has a. a chance less than 50% unless it's an AoE. So AoEs I can I can deal with 24% AoE stun chance. But just one monster I, yeah just just a single target attack. No. Uh, attacks the enemy with a fireball and inflicts continuous damage for three turns. It's a single target attack, continuous damage is nice, but when you, realistically, like, you would only use this, like, early, early game. It's okay, really early game. Aside from that, not so much. Rapidity fills the attack bar of all allies by 30% and increases their attack speed by two turns. This is not a bad, um, this is not a bad skill. So, this could potentially be good if you have... Uh, speed runes, swift and speed on two, could potentially make your team a lot quicker. I like this one. I like this uh, third skill. I don't like the first and second. Um, I think maybe that this Kahul is underrated for this third skill, which is actually pretty nice. I could see I could see more potential in this than people give it credit for. Of course, it's early game, yes, but I think if if you're an early game, you could potentially use this to buff up your other monster's speed. I could I could see uses for that. I could see uses for that. I would say underrated. I just burped. Now we have the Knamiya. And of course, this guy um, actually developed Metal Gear Solid, which... Good job. Good job, Knamiya. Kanamiya, you, I, I never knew what it was like to hide in a box until you came around. So thank you. So thank you. Onslaught for a skill, we already know what that is. Not too crazy about it. Resurge fills up an ally's target attack bar and strengthens their attack power for one turn. It's basically trading. It's basically you waste one turn and y another monster attacks. I say for value that this is not so good. Um, unless this is like super, 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 super speedy, but he's not. So, um, I don't really like this skill. And I know that a lot of people are actually playing with this monster too. Uh, not a lot, but I know that there's people that, that are actually playing with this monster too. Peace removes all harmful effects on all allies and recovers HP by 15% each. This is why they're playing with him. 
because he removes all harmful effects on all allies. That's dots, that's speed debuffs, that's, um... Dots and speed debuffs and stuff like that. What else? It's the, the glancing hit uh, debuffs. Every debuff! Every debuff. He has his place. I wouldn't say I use him in every team, but depending on who you're fighting, who you're facing, he might be useful. That's why he's used um, occasionally. He's used sparingly. He's used like, um, like Cayenne Pepper, right? You don't use him all the time. You don't like put Cayenne Pepper on like everything. You don't, you don't say like, hey, I'm going to make a grilled cheese. Let me dump a whole bunch of Cayenne Pepper on it. No, sometimes Cayenne Pepper is good. Sometimes Kanamiya is good. Sometimes you just want to hide him in a box. But it's to be expected. Right? Right. Dance time. It's time to find the next monster, actually. Not dance time. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Linderman! Oh, so you're a Jew. Okay, so this is a Jewish bird. Uh, obviously his name is Linderman, so he's a Jewish bird. Onslaught, we know what that is. Uh, we have Lightning Ball, stuns the enemy with a Lightning Ball. It's a single target stun. Could be good, I do like the single target stun. Also another support monster. Um, single target I don't love. But stun I like. Uh, I think that the skill is slightly below average, in my opinion. Triple Thunder attacks the enemy with multiple strikes of lightning, stunning the enemy for sure. For a third skill, you can get a lot better. I don't like him. I like the stun. Sometimes you might need it, but um, I don't really see. Even in even in early game, I don't see a lot of use for this guy. He's he's a throwaway monster, in my opinion. In my opinion. You're just gonna prolong the inevitable. Like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, eventually. Then we have the Teon. Now, Teon was actually my first five-star monster, believe it or not. So let's, uh, let's see if I still love him as much as I used to. So we have the Onslaught, of course. We have the Resurge. Fills up the uh, allies' attack bar and strengthens their attack power for one turn, similar to the, I think it was the, was it the water one that had that? One of them had that. But I think it might have been the water one. No. Fire one? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. It was it was a whole five minutes ago. How do you expect how do you expect me to remember that stuff? Damn. Late of recovery. Re revives a dead ally and recovers the HP of all allies by 20% each. Now this used to be, if my memory serves me correctly, this used to be you would need to have a dead ally to use this. And currently, this seems to be that you'll just you can just recover twenty percent. Yes, let's let's lower the volume. You can recover uh, twenty percent no matter if if someone's dead or not. So that gives them a little bit more flexibility. Um, but it used to be that you would need someone to be dead. If I'm incorrect, I don't think I'm incorrect. Because I did have him, and I did use this, and I was like, well, it would be nice to use the Light of Recovery, but no one's dead yet, and they're going to be dead in five seconds. Um, but this this works now, without someone needing to be dead. So it's a little bit more useful, but still a quite, quite a long cool time. He does have... He's actually easier to get than you'd think, because a lot of people will get him from just playing the game in early, in early stages and stuff like that. You'll get, like, a... Man, it's been so long. You'll get like a light dark scroll, and a lot of people are getting the Teon. So uh, he's actually quite common, from from what I hear from people, because I know I've gotten him, and a lot of other people are getting him too. I don't think it's a light dark scroll. I think it's, man. You know what? It's been so long. I really can't say if it's a light dark scroll or something else light dark. But you get a light dark monster, and a lot of times it's Teon. So, and then every once in a while, it's a dark archangel. No, I'm just kidding. It's never a dark archangel. 
someone's gonna be like, oh, it was a fucking dark art of me, motherfucker, and fuck you, asshole. Thank you. Yeah, rub it in my face. I got a tea on, bitch. You bitch. <laughs> anyway, uh, but this one has a leader skill. Increases increases the HP of ally monsters in the dungeons by 17%. Potentially useful in really, really early game. Um, aside from that, no. Not useful. Um, only 17%, uh, and it's only in dungeons. So, he's... He's good early game. He's okay early game. He'll he'll help heal your team. He'll help revive. But there comes a certain point where you're like, "Hey, Tion, you're useless. Good job, GG, motherfucker." Um, so Tion wears out his welcome after you reach like level 15 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's 15 specifically, but he'll he'll wear out his welcome, he'll be yes, less less useful once you get better monsters. So there. So, so far we're seeing that the water uh, Garuda is the better of the Garudas. Uh, where is this one? Where is this one? And I have not had the dark Garuda. And I apparently can't find the dark Garuda, as usual. Rizak. Oh. Okay. That's a name. Attacks the enemy a onslaught, we know what that is. Shadow Ball, we know all about shadowy balls. Um, usually when you know, forty year old men try to show them to us behind Home Depot. Um, those are very shadowy balls, and we want to stay very much away from them. God of Darkness, passive re uh, resistance and accuracy increases by fifty percent. Okay, um, resistance being increased by 50% is okay. Accuracy being increased by 50% is... He's, he's, he's really not that good. Um, he really isn't, sorry. Uh, the water one is the best. Uh, still useful in some situations in late game. Uh, but you don't need to hang on to him, because uh, you'll get more as you keep playing and as you keep getting different uh, like unknown scrolls you'll or you'll see him in like the uh, the magic shop and stuff like that you'll see more of him in late game um, so if you need to feed him to someone else he's also easy to uh, awaken as well so keep that in mind but if you need to feed him to someone else don't worry about it too much um, I would say if you need to feed the, uh, the, the, light, the light one is probably the second best um, but if you need to feed him to someone else, don't worry about it. You'll get other monsters that have better revives um, and heals. So don't uh, don't don't cry too much about it. If you have to, you have to. And I don't um, I don't I don't really miss my uh, my light my light Garuda, which was five star max level awakened. Because now I have a six star max level Lucian, and he kicks so much more ass. Even though he doesn't heal, but he still kicks so much more ass. Um, and that's that's where the Garuda went. But but yeah, you'll still if if you need to feed the uh, the water Garuda to someone else, then don't worry about it too much because you'll get more. He's easy to awaken to, so he's he's he could be useful, but he could also be food. Very very flexible. Um, the other Garudas are basically, in my opinion, food. Uh, I could be wrong, but most of the time I'm not. But I could be. I could be. But I'm not. So, <laughs> in this situation, I'm not wrong. Um, so yeah, if you if you enjoyed this video, then you can like, comment, subscribe. If you really enjoy this video, a super, super ton of enjoyment you can replace every single light bulb in your house with a blue light bulb. No. Nay. A green light bulb. You can replace every single light bulb with a green light bulb and then dress like the Riddler from Batman and make a video for me with you in a spandex suit with question marks all over it and a little bowler hat as the Riddler from Batman. And I swear I will I will put that on my channel. I will put, if you do that, 
if you are that crazy, like me, and you do that, I will put that on my channel. If you are willing to dress up in spandex with all of your lights switched to green, I will I will put that on. And maybe I'll even maybe I'll even actually get it. No, I don't. Wanna, I gotta I gotta go to the gym more if I wanna dress in spandex. I I've been slacking on the gym lately though. I've been slacking. But uh, but yeah, I'll at least put that on my channel. Maybe I'll even like dress up like the Riddler. No spandex, but maybe I'll even dress up like the Riddler myself for a video. Damn! I just issued a challenge. Someone's gonna do that. No, no one's no one's got balls enough to do that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, like up, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video on the YouTube's on here on on the YouTube's.